Man has been sentenced to 13 years in prison for selling a pill laced with fentanyl, which killed Leander teenager Tucker Rowe in 2021. KXN's Mercedes Hernandez spoke with Rowe's mother, who is now raising awareness about this dangerous drug. She says more help is needed to stop more lives from being lost. This as lawmakers have stepped up consequences for dealers. It's a closed chapter. It's a, a sad chapter and um, Obviously, Tucker is still gone. That outcome does not change. Stephanie Turner lost her son Tucker in 2021 to an accidental overdose. She says he took a pill he didn't know had fentanyl in it. Almost three years later, Juan Ignacio Soria Gomez was sentenced this week to 13 years in prison for selling Tucker that fatal pill. I cannot stress enough about the importance of education and awareness. Turner has since founded Texas Against Fentanyl, which pushed lawmakers to pass Tucker's bill. That requires schools to teach about the dangers of the drug. She says there's still a stigma surrounding the topic of fentanyl. We're not getting ahead of it. We're, we're still going backwards. And until those death numbers start to go down, I, don't, I can't stop. The Austin area continues to be plagued by opioid overdoses. Randy Chabra with Austin Travis County EMS says crews have responded to nearly 100 calls in the last few months. And what we're seeing over the last three months is we've been plus 90 uh, opioid overdoses. Last year, another new law went into effect that allows prosecutors to seek murder charges for fentanyl-related deaths. Turner says education and prosecution play a role in ending this crisis. We're not just trying to throw dealers in jail because we're just trying to be mean and put people in jail. We're having to do this to stop the cycle. In Austin, Mercedes Hernandez, KXAN News. And that was 90 overdose responses a month for that three-month period. Now going in depth.